it's been a while. Uh, I haven't been making videos lately, just been not in the mood, but I am excited to be back to do a little vlog for the next 24 hours, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm currently hiking into um, the Heinemann Basin, which is where actually my last video that I'd made um, took place. I'm gonna hike that mountain Heinemann Peak tomorrow again. I'm doing a little solo backpack trip. A, because I have no friends, and B, because tomorrow is the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse, and I wanna be up in the mountains in my happy place to witness this incredible astronomical event. Um, we are in the path of totality, so it's a 100% total eclipse here in Sun Valley, um, and I'm pretty psyched, I'm pretty stoked. It's gonna be a pretty amazing way to spend it. I'm planning on camping the base of Heinemann tonight and then hiking the peak early in the morning so I can watch the eclipse from the top. And it's gonna be, totality lasts about a minute and a half. So everything goes dark, like 11 a.m. And a minute and a half later, it comes back. So seriously, a once in a lifetime experience. And it's gonna be really crazy in Sun Valley proper in the town. They're expecting a ton of people. So I wanted to be, you know, by myself as an outgoing introvert. This is a dream come true, honestly. And so spend the day in the wilderness. You know, after being in Europe for six weeks, you know, first couple weeks with my family uh, constantly, and then, you know, the last few weeks with Ian and Griff 24 seven, um, then coming back to Idaho and, you know, living with my parents and being surrounded by people all the time, um, I really felt drawn to doing this and spending this experience alone um, and just have it be a very personal kind of, uh, you know, way to experience the eclipse. And I think that's something that um, is really beneficial for an outgoing introvert like myself. So this is um, near where I was, pretty much right by where I was, um, kind of over New Year's, my birthday, um, at the Pioneer Yurt, where I was here backcountry skiing. Um, we skied down that thing, it's called the Peanut. So it's pretty cool to be here, you know, in the summer, in a completely different season, but uh, just met some very nice people from Utah that are coming up here, coming and visiting their first time in Sun Valley. They definitely chose a perfect spot to come camp and see the eclipse. made it to the Heinemann Basin, and that is Heinemann, um, where I will be watching the eclipse tomorrow morning, around 10, 30, 11. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous out here, and I think I found my perfect camping spot. So I'm pretty stoked on this. There's no trees for my hammock, unfortunately, but I'll have to make do. It's above tree line up here. Um, but man, feeling so happy right now. Absolutely insane. Um, there's definitely less people up here than I was expecting. Uh, I've seen a few people uh, more camping down below, but uh, I think I snagged a sweet spot, which I'm really stoked about out here in this little meadow. It's gonna be a nice uh, romantic evening. So, yeah, 
yeah, it's about 3 p.m. on Sunday. The eclipse happens around 10.30 or 11 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm gonna get up early, hike the peak, chill out at the summit, um, and see the eclipse, and it lasts for a little over a minute. I think it's like a minute and a half or something, totality. So that should be pretty incredible, but now I think I'm just gonna take a nap and eat some food and just chill out and just experience this incredible beauty. And then this probably seems pretty gross to you people maybe, but it's a nice mixture of quinoa and lentils with some Bragg's liquid aminos, sriracha, and nutritional yeast. Uh, it's actually really good though. Um, it's, it's a nice hefty portion um, and pretty terrible dinner spot, I would say. Absolutely terrible. So let me give you a little bit more context as to why I'm out here. So tomorrow, um, August 21st, 2017, is um, the first total solar eclipse uh, in, I think, like over a century um, in the U.S. And basically, for those of you that don't know, a solar eclipse is where the moon passes in front of the sun and it's just perfectly aligned so that the sun... I mean, the moon blocks out the sun just perfectly so that, that you see a, a ring around the moon and, and everything goes dark at like 11 a.m. for like a minute and a half. Um, it's this amazing spectacle. You see the corona of the sun um, and it's it's supposed to be an incredible experience. And um, there's a, you know, a very specific band. I think it's only like 70 miles wide or something passing through North America and specifically the U.S., and Idaho, which is where I'm from, parts of it are immersed in totality, meaning 100% perfect total eclipse. Um, some parts are, you know, even where I live at my house is like 98% um, total, but where I am camping tonight and where I'll be tomorrow watching is 100%. And there's actually a huge difference between 98% and 100% in terms of what it's like, you know, and it, it, everything gets shrouded in darkness if you're in 100% totality, which just is an amazing experience, and you see the full solar eclipse, so yeah, I just, uh, my family is going to be kind of up north in town with, you know, the whole rest of the town in a, um, in a, in kind of a big group setting, and I wasn't really feeling that, and decided to come solo up here, because I just felt like being in the mountains in this beautiful place uh, would be the best way to experience this. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. It starts, like I said, tomorrow morning, um, which I'm going to hike up and um, go to the summit of the peak of Heinemann Peak and uh, experience it. I also want to make sure that everyone watching this knows that my partner in crime in Thought for Food, Mr. Aaron Stuber, just had his, his daughter, his new daughter, the other day, and I just want to say congrats, Aaron. That's amazing. I can't wait to meet uh, Miss Stella. And so please, everyone, uh, if you haven't already, go check us out on Instagram and go give Aaron some words of congratulations. Uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time, and the, 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 the TFF family continues to grow. I'm getting eaten alive by the Skeeters.